Welcome back everyone. This is the excellent laborer here. Today I'm going to show you how to wire an outlet. Sorry I'm all bundled up but there's some kind of like arctic front that came in overnight. Today is day 102 of the house building project and watch this video to the end to see an update of the progress I made. And don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe. Okay, the tools you'll need to wire your outlet is a pair of needle nose pliers, a pair of wire cutters, number two screwdriver or a driver with a number two bit on it. So what we got here are two 12-2 wires. Our power's coming in one side, going through the receptacle outlet, and then coming out the other side. So what you wanna do is first strip the casing off this wire. You just take a knife, but don't press down really hard kind of score it and pull the sheathing back here and then reach your knife up in and then cut away from the wire don't damage the wires and again you score it you don't really cut it just ever so slightly <coughs> Then pull all the paper back, reach up in there, again, cut away from the wire. Okay. So the easiest way I've found, I've tried wire strippers and everything else, but just take your wire like this, and then just hold your knife on it. Again, don't press super hard, but just kind of score that wire. And then it strips it right off. You want to stay back about half inch or so. And do that to all the wires that have casing on them. connect these grounds together using these little copper cylinders. They are called crimp sleeves. And what they do, they just slide right over this and we'll twist the grounds together. Slide it right over the grounds. Go back, keep it about an inch and a half, two inches from the very end of the wire and then clamp that really, really solid and then just Twist it around about, I don't know, five to 10 times. So you'll have these two wires still, but we only need one. So you'll wanna clip one off and then leave about half inch, quarter to a half inch sticking out and then just fold that over. So that just keeps that from sliding off over time. Okay, so here's a actual outlet. And you'll have silver screws on one side, and you'll have these gold screws on the other. You'll wanna take your white wires, and those go to the silver, and then your black wires will go here to the gold. And then your ground wire goes to your green ground screw. Some outlets will have two holes where you just put them straight in like this, but this, this outlet doesn't have that. <clears throat> so you actually want to bend these wires. So this needs to be hooked so it can go around the screw. So you just grab the end of the wire and bend it like that using needle nose pliers. And then you'll want to hook it to the screw like that. 
and you want to hook it in a way to where when this tightens down it it pulls the wire towards it instead of if it was like this and you tighten this down it's going to want to pull the wire away from the outlet and as far as does this outlet go this way or this way you can put it either way it's really your preference so you just hook it on like that Hook it like this. Now on this side, you do the same thing other than the whites go to the silver. Instead of the black going to gold like the other side. So make a nice hook. Alright, you want to hook it again so the screw pulls it towards the outlet. hooked up and when you push this back into the box you want to kind of fold them not just push it straight back you want to kind of fold it down in like a like a Z pattern Two little holes that you got in this in these blue boxes on the top and bottom and again you wouldn't do this until you had drywall on I'm just showing you how to do it and then this obviously is your cover and it goes over it right like that We'll screw in the center and that is how you wire an outlet what I'm doing here is just continuing what I was doing in the how-to video I'm just stripping wires and uh, getting them ready for the receptacles after the drywall gets put up I got all the outlets in the house done except for the exterior receptacles and I just got to finish up tying together the three-way switches and um, some other switches in the house. Today was about 35 degrees which made it much more challenging working with the wires than the 60 degree days. Sorry about the footage here, but the sun coming in the garage door didn't make out for a good picture.